update courtesy of Noah featuring their full winter 22 collection now I've said on here plenty of times I think when I featured the J Crew collection I feel like Noah Bababdin is somewhat maybe maybe losing the magical touch that he once had which to me is a real shame because I've been a real big fan of Brendan um, I feel like um, his work that he did especially early on in Supreme when he wasn't that well known when he was kind of doing it behind the scenes I feel like was some of his best work ever um, I still remember this anorak that I kept mentioning before and in the previous shows that I had from Supreme that was maybe done in 2005 2006 it was kind of like a fisherman's anorak that was made in kind of a wax um wax kind of finish similar to like a barber and it had these um horizontal blue and white stripes i think there was another one that had like green and navy blue but i had the blue and white stripe one that, has, that obviously sold like an idiot and there was another jacket too that i had that was a fisherman's anorak that was like gray and red that i remember aaron bondorf modeling that i'm pretty sure noah was responsible for designing too so that brendan babbage was responsible for designing the um creative director behind noah and obviously the former design director over there at supreme and obviously then he went to go you know restart his brand noah and kind of put that back into prominence but the early seasons are kind of so the, the tail end of supreme around the time that he was working in and the beginning of Noah was really I think some of his key um, creative times I feel like he did some of his best work there but obviously over time as Noah's gained in popularity and output and probably investments come in and you just need to sell and shift more units do more product offerings it felt like his creativity has kind of been spread too thin and now the fact that he's taken over J Crew, it feels like for sure he hasn't really got that much more to offer in terms of his um pov when it comes to design and when it comes to style and whatnot i felt like j crew is essentially like a budget version of noah and i feel like noah is now suffering because of the job now he's got a j crew which is pretty big in terms of reviving such a big brand and now having looked at this for winter 22 collection is probably more of the same um a lot of this stuff can be intertwined with the stuff that i featured before of j crew and his first collection there's not many really interesting pieces here you've got this kind of velvet um you know um sleeveless you no know, you've got this velvet vest with a nice piece of embroidery here which is quite a nice detail but again not just in the slightest um You've got this kind of Shino look with the pinstripe shirt. Again, classic um, Noah. I love this kind of Western, um, what do you call it, pattern cut in here. I forgot what these things are called here on the shoulders, but it's kind of a Western cut with these triangles here. This bucket hat is really nice, actually, that this model's wearing. Um, corduroy double-breasted jacket with sweatpants, with a sweatsuit. I'm not into that look at all, zero. Um, there's a pretty decent look here. It looks pretty nice with a striped cardigan. Uh, what was it she had put, called that a burgundy and light sky blue with a nice graphic tee tucked into some nice um pleated pants which will look gray with a nice belt that's probably one of my favorite looks this look again is absolutely terrible so is the styling this kid looks like he's wearing his granddad's jacket it's like an oversized padded or somewhat very thick blazer in a tweed that kind of has interesting interesting pockets actually it's actually got the side pockets um you know that you would associate with a parka or whatnot um, and then it's got this really big kind of front pockets as well but again i'm not really too fond of anything here it's very frumpy looking everything here it doesn't really yeah i just don't like the, the look of it maybe it's the styling and the the background backdrop and stuff but it just doesn't look fresh it looks frumpy it looks tired it looks devoid of inspiration this look is pretty tight i'm, I'm a fan of this brown grayish type look here um this obviously classic cable knit um which got a beanie from Noah. That's an absolute classic. These feel really amazing in hand. And from what I've read online, people tend to kind of really like them because they're, you know, they're basically bulletproof and they can survive loads of washes. Um, I, lo I love the addition of this uh, Burberry-esque jumper print here on the inside with a nice jumper with a nice scarf tucked in on the inside of the blazer. That's a really nice styling tip and detail there with these kind of moccasin loafer type things going on there. The addition of the white socks is not for me, but I do like the overall look, so that's pretty decent. This, this um, cable knit um, jumper uh, cardigan thing, I'm not really a fan, especially with the shorts and the loafers and the shoes, not for me yeah just ah, yeah some of these looks are truly horrendous this purple cardigan with the yellow shirt again it's just kind of boring this again there's a lot of golf lafleur in this sort of logo on the shorts um the loaf yeah this is a very golf lafleur look isn't it it's very tyler um 
yeah, I'm not really a fan of any of this stuff. This down jacket look with the shorts, again, has given me um, Ami Leondo vibes. Maybe it's all the addition of the black model. That definitely helps it. This look is really nice. I like this jacket. I think I've seen this before, though, from Noah, right? This kind of um, multi-stripe uh, thing with different kind of colors on it. I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. Again, the white socks thing. Ugh, enough. Uh, again, a jump here tucked into some shorts. Not for me. This looks like when um, Isabella Moran was doing menswear and it was all really horrible stuff. And this kind of looks like something that she would have done. I'm not a big fan of that as well. The beret may, may be okay. Not with that shirt, not with those trousers. This look here, tonal. Again, the white socks. God damn it. They're, they're kind of allergic to having any other color sock apart from white in it. Especially when it's worn with trousers. I wonder what that's about. Yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty decent look with the navy. Yeah, that's a pretty nice. The purple hoodie here with navy written as a font in yellow with uh, the border being somewhat navy blue. That's pretty nice. I'm not really that mad at that. The hat with that flower logo is pretty nice. Um, this vest look is okay. A down vest. It looks like corduroy with some floral pants white socks again on this look with the navy chinos and work pant oh this side bag's really nice that's not even a, that's really big okay this is something i like this is more my look maybe so you've got a nice bomber jacket it looks like um a hoodie and again the shorts the materials and what they do on the shorts and stuff i like that's pretty that's always been quite an interesting look that that they've done right they've got these running shorts or these sports shorts whatever they have that they and they always have them in really interesting materials like a corduroy like a velour like an interesting flip on something that you definitely wouldn't see every day so that's pretty decent and then they've got this also this really cool um what would you call it messenger bag um but it looks really decent because it's a nice decent size it's bigger than what i would usually have which is kind of like a side satchel type bag thing so it looks more like a messenger bag maybe it's a one liter bag I'm not really too sure but this is definitely something that i'd definitely be interested in getting because it could easily fit in a hoodie you could stuff that in definitely enough to fit in a couple of books some wireless headphones and whatnot that's pretty decent but again the rest of it looks a really really shabby man like what the fuck are those trousers they've got these like corduroy type trousers right with corduroy combat tr pants basically yeah not for me i'm not feeling that at all zero um again the tr yeah this is horrible some the suit's nice this is really decent there's a double breasted suit that's got a really wide leg as well that look really cool sans of shoes i'll swap the shoes out no white socks or whatnot just get some classic um loafers or some derbies and then get some black socks as well just to kind of break it up a little bit um there's a nice camo-ish type jacket there with orange pants. Decent. Again, I've seen that kind of color combo and that styling touchdown a million times. So maybe not I'm a big fan of that. Chinos. Like, the, this is a good look, actually. The polo with some red sh with corduroy shorts with the white socks and the blue vans. Not mad at that at all. It might be one of my favorites. <laughs> Pardon me. But yeah, overall... Not the biggest fan here. There's a Red Hot Chili Peppers logo here, which again, similar to the Golf Le Fleur type vibe. That beanie's pretty decent in terms of a colour. That look is absolutely horrendous. I don't know who walks around with an overcoat that size wearing shorts, but hey, maybe they do in New York. Um, you got these. Oh, yeah, this is so bad. It's just inconsistent. It's not, it's not even that bad. It's just inconsistent, very patchy. There's some good pieces here and there. But overall, when you look at it, it just looks fucking terrible, man. Like, what are these shoes? Like, what are those? These kind of house slipper things with these light blue jeans. Like, this is, I don't know. Maybe this is what guys in Diamond Square wear. I don't really know, but this is not running over here in London. I don't I don't know about it look at all in the slightest. Do you know what I mean? Um, but this look is pretty nice again the, the suiting is always really impressive I feel like they probably are really underrated when it comes to the suiting like these double pleated pants with these whatever this whatever this thing is called on the inside here is this a gusset is this I don't know what this called when you kind of when it kind of pinches up here I like that that was incredible especially with the jumper and that beanie he was wearing up above is really nice so it's a kind of what is it, like a pinstripe grey sort of suit it looks really nice this is a pretty decent look too but overall very patchy very inconsistent and doesn't really kind of um, represent how great Noah was in the past and again maybe this is maybe a, a consequence of, you know, Brendan spreading himself too thin 
or maybe this is just the natural progression of brands like this like there's only so many types of these looks that you can do over the years and after a while it just you start to kind of do your own greatest hits you start to go say a few things taking more chances and stuff end up looking a little bit patchy maybe it's just a general thing that goes about it i don't really know or maybe i'm just bugging and it is really sick and people like it but i don't really see a lot in here that's going to really get people to be wanting because again the other thing as well that's disappointing here no it's also always known for having really good outerwear especially in the winter they always have really standout jackets like one or two jackets that are really standout people always want they sell out immediately um but now i just feel like maybe the bag this bag here is really impressive i really want that but i'm definitely going to keep my eye on this bag this kind of messenger um over the top over the shoulders type bag going on there some of the hats are pretty decent the suits are going to be way overpriced for what they are so i'm probably not going to end up buying a suit i think they're like 600 dollars or something like that right so they're pretty crazy for a suit you'd probably be better off just buying an actual suit from a suit company than buying a suit from a quasi streetwear company for 600 pounds this doesn't make any sense to me personally but again maybe i'm in the minority there but apart from that and a couple of other looks like this polo is pretty decent um it's all pretty mediocre for me but again maybe i'm bugging out and you guys think differently let me know in the comments down below if you do